outer space. Her studies have the attention of the international space community, and in June, she'll travel to France to speak to scientists and space explorers. Jordana has her story. George Lucas's vision of future colonies in space features wars, fighting, and government corruption. I can't sit through Star Wars. I can't sit through Star Trek. For Edith Weeks, the future of space civilization is a very serious matter. She says the idea of setting up a human colony in space raises important questions. What language will be dominant? How will ideologies be formed? Will there be ethnic, religious, or racial formations of any kind? If so, what might that look like? As exploration to the final frontier becomes more common, Weeks says some kind of governing body would be needed. I hope <clears throat> that in the future, um, in an idealized space colony, there would be um, more of a utopian society. Weeks proposes that this society is patterned after our own government. The U.S. structure, even with its problems, etc., is still in many ways an ideal type democracy. Edith will admit she doesn't know a lot about space itself, but ever since law school, she's always felt a sense of purpose to research what government would be like in space. It started in 92. I was doing legal research in a law library, and I stumbled across a book entitled Space Law. This fascinated me. Space Law, I thought, what does this mean? Since then, she's become an expert on the subject, which she realizes she'll never live to actually experience. I have thought about that. Um, I've thought about that, and so what? <laughs> Edith believes it's never too early to prepare because when travel up here does become common, many will want to stake their claim in the new world. Joe Dana, 2 News. Weeks will head to France for the 7th Annual Space University Symposium in June. She's been studying at NAU since 1998 to earn her doctorate in international law and political science.